Reviewers, and welcome to another classic series Doctor Who action figure review. Today I am looking at the latest classic series Underground Toys Forbidden Planet exclusive release, which is the last of the Davros box sets announced, uh, which is, of course, the Destiny of the Daleks set. So, again, it follows the same formula as all previous Davros sets. You've got your Doctor, your Davros, and two Daleks. Now, there are a few interesting things to point out with these figures, but I shall move on to that in a second. So, firstly, I'll just start off with the Daleks, because they're your basic sort of thing. Um, same old Dalek sculpt as used on the Genesis models. They aren't exactly the same, as you can see. This one obviously has the black slats and black around the uh, bottom of the shoulders. Whereas this one is completely grey. Uh, compared to the Suicide Dalek from the 4th Doctor Adventure set, these have been painted in the correct gloss light grey paint. It's a glossy colour which matches the on-screen props a lot better than the Suicide Dalek, which had a, quite a, a strange, sort of almost chalky texture to the matte paint used there. So, basic Daleks, but... Um, I like them. I've always liked this uh, this lighter colour scheme. In fact, my my own full size Dalek is based on this version here. So, all in all, very nice. Uh, they've even painted the mesh silver as well, and of course, they s still have the new dome lights. Now on to Davros. So. Davros is exact same sculpt as the Wisher Davros that came out last month. Um, I think it was last month. He, if I just remove his control thing there, the face is obviously a lot darker. It doesn't look as dark as this um, in reality, but for some reason it does look quite dark on camera. Uh, and obviously he now has the red wires as opposed to the blue ones. Um, and his microphone is now completely black as well, apart from the silver bit on the end. So that's the differences there. But the skin tone is darker, uh, which does match what was seen on screen. His chair, or his chariot, whatever you want to call it, uh, is slightly different. This is now sort of an orangey colour, as opposed to the yellow on the Wisher version, and the switches here are now green as opposed to yellow. So, there are a few differences detail-wise with the Goodison Davros. Um, his thing's a bit wonky at the top, but all in all, his back of his chair is stuck on really nicely, as opposed to the Wisher one, which was on uh, terribly. I think they've glued it in extra places, but I can't be sure of that. Uh, but of course, there is a problem with this Davros, and you can see it quite clearly. It's the colour of his chair. Now, for some reason, they decided, as opposed to keeping it black, because obviously his chair was always black, they decided to paint it grey. And I think the idea was that they thought got slightly lighter, or that because he's been sat in dust and cobwebs since Genesis of the Daleks, his chair has now gone grey for some reason, and so they painted it grey. Now, that would have been fine if it was a lot darker. Now, here on camera, you can't really see it, but it's very, very light, and it just looks absolutely ridiculous. Uh, when you compare... when you sort of sit him on his own, and then put him against the two Daleks, Oh, he doesn't look too bad, but as soon as you stick the Goodison Davros next to Wisher, the difference becomes a lot more apparent. It just looks wrong to see Davros with this light grey chair, but there you are, that's the, uh, the differences. So you can see quite clearly the chair colour is very different, the skin colour is extremely dark, compared to the Wisher version, um, and of course they've painted this black, which is correct, so they did get that aspect of it right. So that's the comparison there. Um, and of course, a little bonus accessory. 
is the little uh, control machine and it doesn't click onto anything you just basically sit it on his chair like that and it just balances on there and then you can just have him getting to work controlling the Dalek battle computer or whatever it is I can't recall so apart from the cock up with the chair Davros is, is nice, is very accurate to the, to the story um, and of course it still features the removable panel I would remove it but my one never wants to click back in uh, it was loose when it came out of the box and it was a real difficulty pushing it back in so that's gonna stay there but it's the same it's the same skirt and everything from all the previous releases so that's Davros and finally this set sees the release of a new fourth doctor variant now this is of course meant to be the season 16 Tom which is the new coat and the new scarf unfortunately character options haven't bothered with this they've reused the old scarf which looks completely wrong and the coat itself which really needed to be a new sculpt uh, because of the lapels they should have been popping up um, is just the old Pyramids of Mars coat repainted. Now colour wise it looks really nice, it's in sort of a nice tan colour and it does have all the little black outlines and things around it so they've managed to capture that bit perfectly. The only thing is it just doesn't look correct. So if you look at the scarf you can see that it just doesn't sit on the body correctly because of the shirt. The collars of his shirt are pushing the scarf off which in turn is pushing his head off and you can see the gap there. Um, so evidently this scarf was never designed to work in, in with this figure. Why didn't they make a new scarf or use the season 18 scarf? Don't know, could have been for cost reasons. Uh, can't see why because they've been just doing a lot of repaints recently, Dalek-wise and Davros-wise. Um, the head sculpt is the normal sculpt. They have added grey to his hair to make him look like he's getting older, which is nice. Um, again, they've given him those really weird purple lips, which look quite dark compared to other figures, so he does look slightly odd. Um, and obviously this shirt section is new. You can see that there is the waistcoat sculpted on but again this hasn't been painted for some reason probably due to costing and he now has a new set of legs the sort of crotch piece is the same but the legs are new because they have no thigh articulation and they have a new pair of boots to uh, match the boots he wore at that time now I've heard a lot of things saying that this Tom wasn't made by Underground Toys, um, or not Underground Toys, it wasn't sculpted by Designworks Windsor, who do all the other figures. I'm not sure how true that is, um, I suppose it possibly could be true. I'm not sure why that is, if it is true, but it's quite interesting to show that this figure could have been really good, and it hasn't, it's sort of lost it. Um, if I the head is removable and of course he comes with his sonic I just pull his head off so you can see more of the detailing on the coat there so the lapels should be popped up because the scarf hangs underneath the lapels during that season but of course this hasn't been done however as I was fully aware that the Tom figure wasn't going to be right and that the scarf wasn't going to be right and the coat wasn't going to be right I decided to try and have a go at customising this one before it had even arrived uh, at the house. So I've had this prepared for the last month or so. So if I put Tom's head on, see it fits on a lot better now that the scarf isn't pushing his head off, which is good. He does have quite a loose arm there for some reason. Um, never mind. So I went... I, I mean, I know a lot of people have been getting extra season 18 Toms 
to paint the scarf to because it is very close to the season 16 version I personally think is a bit too thick so I made my own version with a bit of ribbon repainted and there you have it it's as simple as that already Tom looks far more like his on-screen counterpart you can almost sort of forgive them not doing the lapels on the coat popping up so if I ever do a story with this Tom in the future which I would like to I shan't be using this crap incorrect scarf because it's just nonsense um, and I shall use the custom one just knocked the pillar out of the way uh, I shall be using this custom one which fits the look of the figure far more than the actual version we got uh, and the pattern is correct I followed the actual scarf patterns to the letter so it's it's quite accurate to the actual thing so that's the fourth doctor as it stands the figure is disappointing you were given a crap scarf um, the coat could have been better with the popped up lapels and of course yeah like I said the scarf was the big it was the big problem with this so there are rumors of a Scaroth figure coming out from City of Death hopefully if they do release this Tom with the Scaroth if it's like the whole two-pack thing again maybe they'll put some money in it and actually give us a decent season 17 Tom so, thank you for watching this review guys, I can't say what my next review will be because nothing has been announced as yet, I expect it will end up being the Time Warriors set because that's obviously uh, coming soon, and so I shall see you for the next classic series review.